Howdy. Today we are just going to do a bunch of, um, we're just going to do some random Fakemon doodles just for fun. Um, I want to choose some Pokemon that I th think they should make. Like, I think there should be a roly poly Pokemon, so that's where I'm going to start. Um, I do kind of have an idea. So he's going to be like a, a bug steel type, one of the best types in the game for sure. Um, this is the only one I thought about. I thought it'd be cool if he had the ability, like, um, what would it be called? Well, I don't know what it would be called, but, uh, yeah. So it, like, um, it boosts up moves like rollout and, like, moves that get stronger each turn. So if he had rollout, he had his ability, and he did defense curl, which I believe boosts rollouts uh, attack power then that would be like a super strong attack I think but maybe not I don't know <laughs> what do we got here yeah the shoulders we're just gonna fill up this page with ideas or random ideas <laughs> so, I might as well talk about some random stuff that's been happening. My trash can got stolen on Christmas Day. It is Christmas today. Um, yeah, someone stole my trash can. This is actually the second time someone has stolen the trash can, and I do not understand it. Very weird. He's gonna have yeah, knuckles hands, and they're gonna be made out of like metal. So he can punch some bitches. Womp. Hey, that's a pretty good. Yeah, baby. Woohoo. One thumb. Well, of course he has a thumb. I mean, one thumb. He can't have any more than that, I don't think. Okay, let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks good. Um, need to figure out a face. Um, well, I don't know. Make him kind of cute because he's kind of tough looking. So we'll make him kind of cute looking also. Oh yeah, very nice. How's that? 
um, go ahead and write bug steel right here. Bug. Whoa. Whoa. Then we will let's add some color to it. Make them gray. So how's your guys' Christmas going, by the way? Let me know down below. I am just at home by myself. I did my Christmas yesterday with my daughter. Um, she's at her mom's today. And so yeah, I'm just, I went and got Chinese food with a couple friends. And that was all I did today. The food was fire, though. We went to this buffet. It was good. Ideas off the top of my head. I'm thinking that right now. Um, I don't know. Um, Pretty sick dog. Pretty fucking sick dog. Dog. We can draw a dog. <laughs> um, hmm. What kind of dog though? Uh, I don't know. Let's just start drawing something and see what happens. A Cerberus. Yes. I mean, a Cerberus would be cool, but I don't know if that's going to happen here. Let's see. Obviously a dark type.
Hey, that's pretty good, baby. Instead of a fire type, since Houndoom already exists, it could be like a dark ghost. We'll add some ghostliness to it. And we still need a body. So, let's see here. Food did not fill me up apparently. I am hungry. I'm starving, Marvin, over here. Um, okay, it's not looking very ghostly. <laughs> Gonna be honest with you. can't do a devil tail because um, Houndour already has that. I have an idea. It's going to be a weird one. type, right? We could have steel horns, steel claws, and a little mace morning star thing. So, oh no, I did that on the wrong layer. Yep, birds. 
got to add a new layer, put behind this one. I'm going to name it Color. Whoopsies. Let's see. Yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and color in these nails. And we'll remember to switch back to the other thing before. And the next thing is not allowed to be a steel type whatsoever. Capiche? Capiche. No steel types! Steel is a really cool type though, if we're being honest. It's really good too. the best thing you guys got for Christmas or for your holiday whatever you celebrate my best thing I didn't really get anything <laughs> Olivia got a Hogwarts Lego set though and that was pretty tight I bought it though, so <laughs> that takes away the tightness of it just a little bit Obviously Venusaur is my favorite, so we could make a grass type next. I think water types are the most interesting to, to draw, like to create, they're fun. And you can come up with some interesting things. Because aquatic creatures are so different and intriguing. And there's millions of them too. That's that's the other thing about it. There's so many water creatures we haven't even discovered yet. It's really bizarre to think about. Because you would think, you know, we've conquered human, the human race. You would think that we've conquered the whole planet we live on. But we have yet to do so. Like we haven't even explored the whole world, you know? We better get on it before it dies. <laughs> before we have to go find a new world to explore. Gotta explore the world.
I've said that like six times already and I it doesn't even mean anything. I've given up on coloring for I don't want the video to be super long. I'm gonna color it, but I'm just gonna do a quick thing of it, you know what I'm saying? And he's pretty boring, honestly. Just give him wide eyes. All the extra dudes will be like, I'm so extra, and this is badass, because it's a Cerberus. And that's okay, guys. Love it if you want it. So this is Dark Steel. Alright, what's next? What do we got on the agenda? Something grassy. Um, hmm. About oh, I just had an interesting idea. What about like something based on like a worm coming out of a stump? Um, how would we do that? Let's see. So we have a little stump here, and it has been like ripped out of the ground Stumpy won't be We have a hole in said stump And there's a critter coming out of it. And you know what we did, guys? We drew this on the wrong fucking layer again. See, usually I just draw and then I color. That's my problem that I'm having. Oh my fuck. This is kind of like a shuckle. It could be like a variant of shuckle. Like a grass bug variant. I don't remember what shuckle's face looks like, but... And he has little feet down here. <laughs> He'll have three on each. Um, Oh, he's way bigger than I thought he was. <laughs> I thought I made him super small. Um, Alright, now what do we got? I have water on the brain. 
And water's fun because you can literally just start drawing. Let's draw a fish. Oh wait, what about a beta? A fighting water beta? Because you know they're called Japanese fighting fish and you can't have them with other fish because they will beat each other up. And when I was a kid I made a starter of a, of a beta fish. So it had legs um, and stuff. So I'm just gonna redraw that. And it, I, was, I made it when I was a kid and it is a little silly, but let's check it out. Check it out, the Dr. Steve. Actually, like inanimate object um, Pokemon, people say they're uncreative. I think they're more creative than just drawing a dog or something. But that's whatever. Whatever. I'm gonna draw something in that. Let me look around my room. What do I got? I got nothing. Hmm. What about a clock? That could be something. Like an ancient clock, so it would be a sundial, I think. I don't know if I can even draw such a thing. Okay, there's a sundial. I don't really know how they work. I'm just going to put random squiggles on it. And those are the times. 
put a random shadow on it. Um, there's a sundial. There you go. We're done with it. Not. What am I doing? I don't actually know where I'm going with it. And that ain't. So, when you see a sundial, they're on like a stand, right? Like a... So the Pokemon is actually the stand. Kind of like... Of room for this one. But I did not have a plan. Um, you'll never know what the bottom of them looks like. <laughs> this thing is stupid anyways. But we're gonna get rid of it. No, no sundial. You know what, we're gonna stick with the idea, but we're gonna start over. Because it's an interesting idea. It's interesting enough. So we want a like a stand. The Pokemon is a stand for said sundial. Invent created in ancient times. See what time it is. Invented there? Where are they invented at? I don't know. <laughs> this is lame. That ain't gonna happen. 
another starter. My other starter when I was a kid was actually a wisp. So we'll draw him. So it was a fire ghost type. And he was pretty radical. He turned into this big giant fire beast. pretty much it. <laughs> so he's fire ghost. Fire ghost. Then we gotta we gotta sign our little sheet. Okay. Now let's add, let's add some color on a new freaking thing. We're not going to do too great on the coloring again. We're just going to kind of do it. Yeah, this is a, a regional shuckle for sure. Now that I'm looking at it. Sure, for sure. You can get betas in like a million different colors, so maybe the beta fish should come in like different variants. That'd be cool. I have no way to show that on this on this doodle, but yeah, that could be interesting. I like that shuckle actually. Um, beta fish, let's see. I'd say they're mostly gonna be red, right? Mm. I don't know, I mostly see red ones, I think. What's that? Makes them look more intimidating. To his foes. Some bait. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a fish. 
think he has an Italian accent just looking at him. He's a gangster fish. When they say you're going to be sleeping with the fishes, they mean this guy. Honestly. <laughs> start using purple I mean colors other than purple because I'm sure everyone is like nobody likes purple as much as you do man start using a different color the last one yes we're gonna add one more layer to color behind him uh, let's see here yeah no we want darker than that I think what the hell is the same as color my little 
Wisp Pokemon. Drop a background so these all just pop. Let's go white, honestly. Okay, or yellow. Turn everything back on. And there we go. That's going to be it for today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.